I am the teller of stories. Come in, sit down and listen to my story. Today's story is from the Princess Ruby stories. In this story, Princess Ruby and her three friends meet another friend and they all go on an adventure. This time the adventure takes them to ancient Greece where they help to fight a monster. So sit back, relax and listen. Princess Ruby and the Magic Book The four friends meet a new friend. Princess Ruby, Sir Riley, Lady Casey and Lady Shyler were playing in the garden. They were playing hide and seek and Casey was the seeker. Found you, she said as she touched Ruby on the shoulder. Just then the sky began to darken as a big black cloud covered the sun. I think it's going to rain. We'd better go inside, said Ruby. The four friends went into the castle and up to Ruby's room. Princess Ruby's three friends liked playing in her room. There were lots of dolls for the girls and Riley liked to read books from a very big bookshelf. They were all playing or reading when the Queen came into the room followed by a young man. He was about their age and nicely dressed. I brought a new friend for you, said Ruby's mum. He has just moved into our area and I hope you will make him welcome. Riley was happy to have a new boy to play with and the girls obviously thought he was quite good looking. This is Sir Lewis, said the Queen. Casey imagined how smart he would be in armour. Come in, said Ruby. It's nice to meet you. So came okay, Mum, we'll look after Lewis. The Queen left them to get to know each other. Sir Lewis was a very friendly person and they all soon became good friends. The four friends were now the five friends. Over the next few weeks the five friends played together, sometimes in the garden and other times in the castle. Eventually, Princess Ruby decided to tell Lewis her secret. I'm going to tell you a secret, Lewis, but you must swear on pain of death never to tell anyone else. I swear not to tell anyone, said Lewis. Ruby showed Lewis her magic book and told him how it took her on exciting adventures. Casey described the adventure they had all gone on together to a place called Rome. It sounds really exciting. Can I go with you next time, said Lewis. Ruby looked at her other friends and they all nodded their heads. OK, replied Ruby. Let's try now. Princess Ruby, Lady Casey, Lady Shyler, Sir Riley and Sir Lewis went to the magic book and held hands. Ruby closed her eyes and put her finger onto a page of adventures. Together, they said the magic words, please take us there. When they opened their eyes, they were surprised to find they were on some sort of boat. It was a very big boat with a large sail and rows of oars down each side. I wonder where we are, said Ruby. As she spoke, a big man came towards him. He was dressed in some sort of leather top with a skirt and boots with long laces in them and he had a sword fastened to his belt. He didn't seem surprised to see them and asked, are you from the gods? Have they sent you to help us? The five friends were very confused by this but Lewis replied, we will help if we can. The man said, my name is Odysseus and we are going to try to defeat a monster. It will be very dangerous. The five friends didn't like the sound of this, but hoped they could help in some way. The boat ploughed steadily through the waves until it reached an island. Odysseus and his men put on armour and went ashore. The five friends followed them, but were very nervous, wondering what the monster would be. They soon found out. Suddenly, out of a cave, a large creature with several heads appeared. 
was very, very scary. This was a monster they had to defeat. He stood by as a crew attacked the monster. It was very hard for the crew as he wanted to use its many heads to pick up men and throw them into the sea. The fried friend didn't know what to do when suddenly they saw one of the crew picked up by the monster. We must try to help, said Riley. Although they were very scared, Sir Riley and Sir Lewis drew their swords and rushed at the monster. Together they hacked off the head holding the man and he fell safely to the ground. When it lost the head, the monster roared and fell back. The crew then pressed their attack and the monster was defeated. Thank you for your help, said Odysseus. You have helped to defeat a terrible monster. It was very brave of you. You are truly from the gods. The five friends didn't know what this meant and really wanted to get away from this place. Princess Ruby, Lady Casey, Lady Shiloh, Sir Riley and Sir Lewis held hands and said the magic words, please take us home. When they opened their eyes, they were all relieved to see they were back in the safety of Ruby's room. That was a really frightening adventure, said Lewis. I've not liked to go on like again. The other friends agreed with him. Ruby said, it was very brave of you to attack the monster. We were very worried you might have been killed. Riley replied, we were both really scared, but we knew we had to try, and I wouldn't have to go to us again. Princess Ruby, Lady Casey, Lady Charlotte, Sir Riley, and Sir Lewis decided to go out to play in the garden. The five friends played happily together in the safety of the garden. Ruby said, let's hope the next adventure we go on will not be so scary. 